Um, all right, Mike, well, you're here at the Kentucky Derby. You've got, obviously, a lot of international experience, but this is a little bit different. Tell us why. Just so big, I think. Um, I don't think I've been to a race meeting. Well, I've been to the Melbourne Cup where there's probably 100,000 people there. Uh, but, I mean, this is just um, a whole town. It's it drinks and sleeps the race and uh, 150, 160,000 people. It's, it's almost crazy. Um, I've never seen so much media hype around one race. Well, Tell us a little bit about Moop to Hedge. Now, he really developed during the course of the carnival. You were confident all along that he'd be able to go longer distances. Only horse in this race with experience over, you know, at least a mile and three sixteenths comparable to, you know, Saturday's mile and a quarter. You got to feel good about that part of the race for you. Yeah, sure. You know, he's um, he's a very European looking with a very European pedigree. Um, he certainly is bred to get the trip. Um, the size is obviously effective on dirt and turf as well. Um, and he's got he's had some racing under. You know, he's a very very fit horse. He's not a ounce of lazy fat on him. He's he's fit as a fiddle and um, very very fresh with it. Um, and as I say, we we do know he gets a trip and he's got a, he's got a finish. I think he. He, he should be one of those that are running on at the end if he's, you know, if he's had good luck. Many different facets to your job. You have to train the horses, you have to, you know, communicate with the owners, and you have to evaluate your competition to spot the horses in the right places. How do you evaluate the competition for this year's Derby? You know, you know, apart from all the obvious, we haven't really gone through the whole field. Um, you know, it just looks like there's. You could make a case for probably ten horses to win. You wouldn't be surprised if any one of the ten won it. Um, the emphasis seems to be on speed that lasts, um, so it's going to be a very tough race. But I think if we've got a chance to, if we can sort of save him early and and and, and keep him for the stretch, I mean he could run a big race. Now he ran on dirt in Dubai, and a lot of people when I was over there were saying. American trainers were saying that dirt track is very comparable to the dirt track at Churchill. I'm that, that also gives you a, a little bit of additional confidence, I would guess. Yes, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the dirt here in the morning um, to see how, just how comparable they are. But uh, he certainly um, was very comfortable on it, albeit I never trained him on it. Uh, he trained on turf and all with it most of the time. Um, and he was just very comfortable doing that, you know. And. Uh, didn't mind the running, he's not a horse that minded the kickback. Uh, not saving said that he didn't sit in a field with his 20 horses giving the kickback. So that might be a little different, uh, a little more daunting. He's always racing generally small fields. So um, that's probably another factor to consider. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck with Moop Edge, and obviously we're glad to have you here and just another potential international conquest for you, Mike Takan. Thank you very much. That's no, uh, it's been fantastic. The hospitality has been unbelievable. All right.